so now you are going to pick up is a good amount you see that how much i need you see you see me use like about one third of this if you're doing just flat back if you're doing a 3d cluster 3d pointed back you definitely want to use a little bit more and a thick density okay so it's not going to set level you see that i make it looks like a globes right here and make sure you close this you don't want to let it lace right on the top of your under of your led light or on the side of it so i have this i pick this too from the baby mixture i'm loving this and just make sure you place them uh, really tight together okay tuck them in and close and you just need to do that first and flash key okay first just don't try to get all at once. Just flash key at first under the flashlight because when the time you travel here or your client travel from here to the um, LED lamp, it might shift it for you because it was a little bit heavier uh, for the cluster uh, pointed back crystal than the flat back. It's easy to just like really like bye-bye, you know? And we are going to go back with the condensed glue gel. This is the first step from our uh, trifecta, crystal trifecta. So I'm gonna pick up more condensed glue gels and about a good, uh, you see that this time I'm using less. So we are going to coat it on the nails. I feel like I need some more. You don't have to worry about it. it's not going to dry until you are going to Kia. So if you need a little bit more, absolutely. Okay. And then don't forget no wipe top coat floating right on the top. Done. I'm gonna using the chains. What chains should I use? Pink? Pink is pop. I should use yellow. Do I have yellow on this one? Maybe on the other. I thought I have the yellow here. Okay. But don't worry about it. Oh, no. Here, I have this. You can do this. It looks so cool, though. I also can using the um, OG traditionals of this. This one. Cool. Oh, there you go. I feel I can make the necklace out of this. So I am going to not putting a top coat yet, okay? Hey Brazil, how are you? Hey Nene. Sorry if I miss anyone coming. Alright, I'm gonna go that way. Because I wanna wrap around the right there. Okay, cut. You can do however you would like, okay? So save the rest for next uh, creation. The reason it is because in that way your uh, chains will not just slide anywhere. You can get that. 
and then put the top coat right on the top so also it prevents from getting uh tarnish and it's gonna get completely sealed as well so i'm gonna floating right on the top of the condensed blue gel and also i'm coating the um chain as well you're not coating on the top of the crystal just the chains only okay all right now you can add some more crystal on the side let me get this one oh, i like that one The little uh, mini balloon. And you can add crystal or ice. You can add some more beads as you uh, wish. And then continue. So the best way to do with the crystal placement the first time, really simple. Just um, start with the centerpiece first. In this beautiful designs, I did start with the centerpiece as is the 3D um, crystal. And then you're using your accessories around, which is your chains. And then also your others. Uh, beads and then you can use any color of the beads it doesn't have to be just a b uh, the just go you can use silver and you can use uh, obsidian i have my yellows right there yellow right there And then another yellows right here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited not only to, to stream with you every day um, on the Gliss page. I'm so excited. We are about to see you really soon in like a couple weeks. I think it's a couple weeks. in chicago so wait a couple weeks away all right if you're happy with this we're going to keep this for 60 seconds as a lot i love it it's just i don't know how is your end it looks like under the camera it looks like 